Good afternoon and welcome to another episode of InvestorIdeas.com podcast, looking at cannabis news, stocks to watch, as well as insights from thought leaders and experts. Uh, in today's podcast, we're going to be looking at a few public company announcements from the Valens Company Incorporated, trading on the TSX as VLNS and the OTCQX as VLNCF, uh, Loop Insights Incorporated, trading on the TSX Venture as MTRX, TerraSend Corporation, trading on the CSE as TER and the OTCQX as TRSSF, as well as Namaste Technologies Incorporated, trading on the TSX Venture as N and the OTC as NXTTF. Uh, so first, starting with the Valens Company, who announced that it's received its cannabis research license under the Health Cannabis Cannabis Act and cannabis regulations through its wholly owned subsidiary, Valens Agritech. And this license permits the Valens Company to conduct research involving the administration or distribution of cannabis to human subjects for the assessment of taste, sight, smell, or touch subject to conditions laid out by Health Canada. Now, the company will use this license to conduct controlled human trials for the sensory evaluation of its cannabis extracts, concentrates, and oils, including vaporizers and beverages and edible products, at its extraction, manufacturing, and testing facilities in Kelowna, B.C. This exciting and strategic milestone gives us the competitive advantage to further innovate and differentiate our leading oil-based product offering, said Tyler Robson, the Chief Executive Officer of the Valance Company. With this research license, we're now able to perform sensory assessments at the product development stage to determine quality and marketability of our products to maximize potential launch successes. Now, findings from the future proprietary research initiatives will advance our understanding of cannabis preferences, allowing us to continue developing premium next-generation products that meet evolving customer and consumer needs. Now, sensory evaluation measures, analyses, and interprets the reaction of human subjects to products and perceived by the senses and is used in the way of determining whether product differences are detected and the basis of those differences and the diversity of the preferences. Now, this evaluation method will enhance the company's custom manufacturing and white label services and the added ability to assess the palatability of bespoke cannabis blends formulated with Valens' extensive terpene database. It will expand the company's innovation pipeline across all key product divisions. Now, Jeff Bauer as the president of the Valens Company added, cannabis research derived from human trials is highly critical and valuable at this stage in the industry's growth cycle, and we look forward to having data-backed knowledge of how consumers experience different products to advance our research and development strategy, and in turn bring consumer-focused products to market. This research license not only solidifies our position as a one-stop shop for our customers by increasing our presence with their value chains, but also provides added credibility to our platform as we look to expand to new markets. Uh, so Valens Company continuing to have a pretty damn good year. Um, I think that this research license is a huge, huge advantage for them right now within this industry. This is something that most of these companies, I think, are looking to attain, um, but few have access to right now, which is when you're launching any of these new products, whether it's concentrates or beverages or oils, anything that's going to be heavily terpene based and also um, a newer generation product. Product testing is one of the key elements that most of these companies are missing. So they're launching these products blind most of the time or really just having uh, their own in-house sort of off the books um, testing and analysis, which doesn't really provide a lot of data for the industry, um, which I think, again, is going to be a huge thing for all of Valens white label products. I think you're going to start to see a lot of companies wanting to have core partnerships with them even more so than they already have. Um, and again, that's going to be because they can have that long-term data of consumer preferences and what people are going to be looking for and also which terpenes are maybe more effective or reactive to certain people and certain preferences. Um, again, until other companies get that, I think that they're going to have a huge competitive advantage within the next generation product space. Um, and it looks like they're going to continue to have a pretty stellar year so far. Next, looking at Loop Insights, a provider of contactless solutions and artificial intelligence to drive real-time insights, automated marketing, and contract tracing to the brick-and-mortar space, announced the signing of a pilot agreement with Sunflora Incorporated to implement Loop's analytics platform in 20 of its Your CBD retail locations. Now, Your CBD store is the largest CBD brick-and-mortar retailer in the U.S., selling award-winning SunMed products. And upon successful completion of the pilot, it is intention of both parties to implement Loop's artificial intelligence driven analytics platform across 550 plus your CBD stores in locations in 41 states across the U.S. Sunfloor president and franchise system Jay Benj stated that there is no greater time to utilize top tier artificial intelligence technology to gain an edge in the industry. Our customer base is huge and it's important to understand their needs and preferences to maximize basket size, loyalty, and wallet share. We look forward to working with Loop and building unparalleled experiences for our customers. 
Now on August 10th, Loop announced a reseller partnership and first sale with Vend, a global POS company used in 25,000 stores across 140 countries. Now in that announcement, Loop and Vend announced the first sale to a Vend client with 30 stores across North America. And today's announcements represents the second deal through Vend in just 10 days, which bodes well for the future of the partnership and further demonstrates the efficacy of the company's artificial intelligence driven marketing solutions to the drip to the brick and mortar space. Now, Loop Insights CEO Rob Anson stated, our vent partnerships have already demonstrated great value for Loop by rapidly accelerating our entry into large verticals such as the CBD retail. CBD sales are seeing massive growth rates since the start of the pandemic, so this pilot with Sunfloor Incorporated puts Loop in a very strong position to become a partner with massive CBD retail market. Um, so, couple things there obviously the cbd market is still booming even the brick and mortar style stores are still having uh, pretty impressive sales obviously a big part of that is also going to be the curbside pickup and delivery um, and other options along those lines but uh, i do think that this is going to be a great time for any of these brick and mortar retail stores whether it's cannabis or cbd to start implementing these next generation technologies there's been a lot of talk about artificial intelligence within the cannabis space for use and in gaining insights on consumer preferences or utilizing um, just that for general efficiency. But so far, there hasn't been a lot of real uh, blow away uses of it within the industry. Um, and I don't think that this is going to gain sort of bear much fruit for this company specifically. Um, but I do think that it's a smart choice for any of these brick and mortar retail stores or any companies to start looking at these next generation uh, sort of contactless solutions, artificial intelligent programs and implementing them within their stores. They have to start looking at these technology innovations um, because their competitors are. It's that simple. A lot of these industry, or a lot of segments of this industry right now are looking to advance massively when it comes to the technology side of how they're dealing with customers. And also because of COVID-19 right now, this is going to be the only time where you can basically force customers into using these next generation uh, payment solutions or marketing tools because they don't have any other options. Um, that's the one real benefit of COVID-19 right now for any of these cannabis or CBD companies is that because of all the limits on traditional marketing, on traditional advertising, on traditional retail in general, um, you're now forcing a lot of these customers to actually start using the online portals, actually start using some of these next generation uh, sign up technologies. So it's a lot easier to get someone to join an email list or sign up for something or actually put their name and phone number attached to something because that's pretty much the policy everywhere, whether you're going to a restaurant or going to a retail store. So I do think that this is the smart time to implement this because this is the only time where you're going to see real traction and user uh, information, but uh, hopefully this gets implemented fast enough in enough stores so that way it actually can gain enough of the insight so it can sort of provide some uh, actual insights onto the CBD sales and what's going on within that industry. Next, looking at Terrasen Corporation, who reported its financial results for the second quarter ending June 30th. Um, so some of the second quarter 2020 financial highlights included net sales increased 169% to 47.2 million from 17.6. Uh, gross margin increased to 56% compared to 9%. Adjusted EBITDA was 11.4 million or 24% of net sales and positive cash flow from operations of 10.4 million. Uh, commenting on this. We are producing strong revenue growth while maintaining our focus on delivering industry-leading margins and profitability, said Jason Ackerman, the CEO and Executive Chairman of TerraSend. I'm incredibly proud of the performance we've achieved to date and want to thank our entire team for the great execution. After achieving our first quarter of positive EBITDA in quarter one, we now achieved another significant milestone of positive cash flow from operations in the quarter two. And moving into the second half of 2020, we look forward to continued strong revenue and profitable growth as we bring on high quality products to New Jersey, patients through our apothecary and dispensary in the state, and further expand our cultivation capacity in Pennsylvania and add to our retail footprint in California. We're also very excited to complete the build out of our cultivation facility in New Jersey, which will begin to generate material sales in early 2021. Um, so obviously I talked a lot about the financial results over the last two weeks and how that sort of impacted the market and how investors responded a lot of the time. TerraSend sort of at the tail end of that. And you saw a much um, less reactive market to their news, um, pretty much just a slow lead up to the actual financial results and it's actually stayed high since then so you haven't seen the massive sell-off um, after the financial results i think a lot of their positive results obviously were a factor there um, but also again the data didn't release when pretty much everyone else did so there wasn't as much volatility i think surrounding the space 
Uh, and I do think that in general, a lot of these financial results that have been released over the last couple of weeks do give a little bit of security to where the industry is heading and that some of these companies, not all of them, are at least understanding the new terrain that they have to deal with and how to deal with that fast enough. Lastly, looking at Namaste Technologies, who announced that its wholly owned subsidiary Canmart has signed an agreement with Indiva, uh, subsidiary of Indiva Limited, trading on the TSX Venture as NDVA and the OTCQX as NDVAF. Uh, who is a leading Canadian producer of cannabis edibles and other cannabis products to offer a selection of Indivis products on Canmart's business to customer distribution channel for their medical customers. Canmart is increasing its reach into the legal Canadian cannabis market and its natural choice of award-winning products, said Neil Marotta, president and CEO of Indiva Limited. Our soft gels and capsules are highly regarded for the consistency and quality and will be available on the Canmart marketplace in late August. Later this fall, we look forward to introducing our award-winning Bang Chocolate and Wana Sour Gummies to the Canmart product universe as well. Now, Indiva's CBD soft gels, Indiva capsules, along with Bang Chocolates and Wana Sour Gummies are a great addition to Canmart, said Manny Morin, the CEO of Namaste. Um, now, Namaste is also adding Indiva products line to Canmart, its online marketplace, as it continues to expand its Cannabis 2.0 product offerings. Canmart is an online marketplace carrying a large selection of legal cannabis products and accessories for many of the best cannabis producers in Canada and around the world, and it's focused on providing medical cannabis patients and adult use enthusiasts with access to the highest quality cannabis products available. And Canmart also prepares, packages, and distributes cannabis products through the strategic relationships with leading government agencies. So, Canmart uh, and Namaste are adding on a few of Indiva's product lines. Uh, they probably already should have had some of those product lines in their portfolio, I think, but they do have a fairly strong uh, edibles and next generation product line uh, already going on there. So, more additions, I think, will already help them. I've talked a lot in the past about how Canmart specifically is one of the smarter plays you're seeing in the Canadian medical market uh, with regards, especially uh, as COVID 19 has come through. They're one of the few companies that's really had just business as usual as they are an online based platform. They do sell all over Canada. They do have a large range of product offerings. And they also have a lot of direct consumer insight and feedback. Um, and that data is highly valuable as well within the medical community. Uh, but one of the main things is just being a direct online source. And because of that, uh, they've made sort of medical access a little bit easier than in some of the areas. Their sort of main competition, I guess, would be medical cannabis by shoppers, um, but very much a different sort of style and brand there. And I do think that they're going to bring in more and more brands similar to Indiva. There's still a lot that they don't have, uh, and hopefully they do add to their portfolio faster than uh, the Shoppers Drug Mart program, or at least at the same pace if they want to maintain relevance. That's all for today's podcast. Enjoy the rest of your day. And just as a heads up for tomorrow's podcast, we will have an interview featuring Tommy Chong, the man himself. So definitely make sure to listen to that. That's all. Have a good day. That's all for today's podcast. Podcast is now a certified word trademark on the blockchain through Cognate Incorporated CM certification. InvestorIdeas.com podcasts are also available on iTunes, Spotify, Google Play Music, Stitcher, iHeartRadio, Spreaker, and TuneIn. If you'd like to be a guest or sponsor of this podcast, please contact InvestorIdeas.com. Investor Ideas reminds all listeners to read our disclaimers and disclosures on the InvestorIdeas.com website, and this podcast is not an endorsement to buy products or services or securities. Investors are reminded that all investments involve risk and possible loss of investment. Investor Ideas does not condone the use of cannabis except where permissible by law. Our site does not possess, distribute, or sell cannabis products.